Kerber Chats, sponsored by Super Fast Ferries. Super Fast Ferries. It'll get you to Greece in a day and change. Specifically the ones in the country of Greece. Yeah. <laughs> the fastest of the ferries in that country. They weren't that fast. That's the thing. I think like, they had a monopoly, though. So it's just like they <laughs> they were the fastest by default. I was going to say, to get to Santorini, it took us 14 hours. <laughs> I spent a whole day and a night sleeping on the deck of a very cold boat. So my, my, I don't know if I went further or if my ferry was worse. See, we did it dumb because we did it, we did it during the day. So we left at like seven and got in uh, like ooh. at like 9 PM or something. It was bananas. It was yeah. horrible because then we couldn't sleep. It was just like, we were yes. just there all day with this one Greek dude. So speaking of Greece and traveling and going places, man, I want to talk about where do you love to play games? Yeah. Because I think both of us uh, happily play games at home. For sure. Yes. However, I think... But I will say, I will say, home is not my, not anywhere near my preferred place to play Same game. here. I would rather at least go to a friend's house yeah. so it feels kind of like a thing. And I, yeah. I wonder if a lot of people feel that way or if it's I think like, the fact that this is our job compounds that fact. Interesting. Yeah. I but, mean, I think you're right. Like, we want to escape work. And so there's definitely something to the idea that, like... <laughs> playing games here now, like if ever we're home playing games, if we're here, we won't be in this room because it's just like nice yeah. to be in a different space. Yeah, we always separate. play games out there and play here. But even before we started doing that as a job, I think we, I think we. Ooh. So it's five on a turn is always good. Almost always it helps. Really? I'll take it. Nine. Dude, 18 for two. Okay. That's get, how that game get gets started. Get freaking wrecked. 26. Um, yeah, I think we in, in general enjoy going. Oh, I can't even with you. <laughs> uh, going places to play games. So I want to talk about like what are what are your favorite places to play games? Where you know how do you like to game? Like what what gets you in the right mode? And we're gonna be about it. It's gonna be a game day specifically, not just oh. playing a one off filler game because that. Usually I feel like that, that does home. change the question. If, if it's gonna be like a game eighteen, game day. Okay. Good. Uh, That's what I'm thinking. Points. You know, more like like a. a a situation. We got a situation going on here. I think my favorite place to play a game, whether it's just like a one or two games or a whole game day, probably doesn't change. This is kind of an easy answer. And so we'll, I'm sure we'll talk about some other places like to play games. But I would probably say a game cafe. Specifically, I love Game House here in L.A. Mm -hmm. um, I got 15-2, 15-4. Well, first if you know. Oh, you're right. I got 15-2. I've got 15-4 and a double run as 12. Oh, so you good. can go ahead. That five really didn't help you, huh? Nope. Oh, interesting. All right, I got 15-2, 15-4, 15-6, 15-8, and that's it. I was close to a run, but not quite there. Good on you. Oh, I'm sorry. Pair is 10 because I have two fives. Mm, illegal. Mm, illegal moves. So you're talking about Game House, yeah. I, well, specific Game Cafe. It's just a joke because I just I like the vibe of like game stores, game cafes. Game I, cafes are one of the coolest things ever. They're just, they're just so great. Awesome. They're just built exactly for what we're interested in. Food? It, Baked goods, yeah, and board games, and it, yeah, it really is. That's why board game cruises are great because it's just yeah. eating and not moving. Carbs it's and great. cards, yeah. man. New new game cafe name. Carbs <laughs> and cards. Carbs and cards. Oh, it's a good. Not horrible. We better get ten percent. That if someone won't, takes that, that won't play in L.A. because that will scare people away. No, yeah, but, but that will play. That'll play in Idaho. <laughs> oh boy. Look at fifty-two, uh, fifty-four, and it looks like more, but I don't think it is. Euros no, 15, and euros. No, no, I did it. 15, 2, 15, 4. Wow. Man, euros, I'm, I'm euros I, am, euros. I am just selling. I like I like game cafes because yeah. one, there's a lot of games to choose from. So we don't have to we don't have to be as the people you who tend have... to be the ones providing the games. Yeah. It's nice to not have to. Two, it's just... like there's a lot of games we haven't played or games we can only play there because we don't personally own them. Yeah. But I think what it is, it's just like it's relaxed, but in terms of a game day, it's also nice because there's food, there's drinks there. So like yeah. if we're you know, we get a you couple. You can of, just settle in for the all long day. Haul. Yeah, and you're just like, okay, I'll go get a sandwich. Okay, I'll go get a diet coke. You know, and so I yeah. like that. And not everyone has a uh, board game cafe near them, which is unfortunate. I hope they're, they. I think they're becoming more frequent. Yeah, I'm hoping that the 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 COVID thing is not going to stop that in its tracks because they, I think, were getting more. more yeah. Um, but I mean, that's the restaurant business in general. It's not even just board game cafes. Right. But nonetheless, like I like I like playing in game stores and board game cafes. Board game cafes is more because they have food, but really a game store is a similar kind of vibe. Yeah. I just like being snacks. around a bunch of people playing games. It's one of the yes. reasons why I like conventions because I just even I'm just walking around. I like just, I I like that energy. Yeah, you know? seeing people participate, playing games. It's fun to like just sort of 
voyeuristically see like, oh, what are these people interested in? Like, oh, this game seems to be being played a lot. Like, that's yeah. the only fun thing about conventions. You kind of see like, what's the hot game of the moment? Oh, everyone's playing this thing or that thing. Yeah. These cards are horrible. These cards Why are potentially very good. Potentially very dog poo poo. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm planning for a future, but. Okay. Um, I now have points in my hand, so I'm happy. What about you, though? Uh, game cafes are like the top. I mean, like, yeah, I, it's amazing. It's hard I, to beat. again, like you said, there's just the fun. Like, we've had so many experiences at uh, Game House, which is our favorite board game cafe, kind of our local cafe. Yeah. Uh, they do a super good job. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, and they just make a really cool, welcoming environment. Like, I just have so many fun Five, experiences six. of, uh, like, cool. um, both of us will, will just grab a rule book of a game we've always been interested in. You mm -hmm. know, we haven't played it though. And we, since we have time, we'll just both grab a rule book each and sort of read the book and then we'll yeah. play both those games yeah. and stuff. And stuff like that's so fun and it's cool. Like Board Game Cafe allows you the ability to browse. Yeah. And then it's sort of a chilled environment where we have some time and we can kind of like just learn a game and then fumble through it or whatever because... And I think that's why I prefer them over like a game convention because most of the things you can argue for a game cafe you can do at a convention. But sure. a convention, the, as much as I love the vibe of a convention, it's much, much more hectic. Yeah, and I was sort of under the gun. Time like I wouldn't more. want to do that at a convention where like we each just grab a game and we just kind of sit there. Each it's kind of like whoever finishes the rulebook yeah. first, we we'll play that one yeah. first. I wouldn't want to do that at a convention because it's just it's more like we got to yeah. go, we got to go. We the gotta upside go. to a convention is just about any game you're interested in playing. So there's we, someone who will teach yeah. you to you, which is ideal. It so is nice. yeah. yeah, what do you got? Yeah, fifteen two, fifteen four. Um, four is eight. Yes, and then four is eight. Yeah, it looks like there was another 15 in there, yeah. but it wasn't. It? I've got a pair of threes. <laughs> is that really all you have? Yeah. Ah. I was hoping for anything. I just, I put an eight and nine in the crib, seeing like, maybe this will yield something. No. Oh, no. It gave me a pair. I'm a pair guy. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, a, yep, I did that, doing the carry that over. It's two, two points. Wow. That is wow. very close to many, many I've games. had during these cribbage chats a string of pretty good luck, and that has maybe uh, dried up That now. has maybe dried up. Um, so so where in else? addition to uh, board game cafes, we've kind of made board game cafes out of places we've gone. We've always sort of done this. We've like made we cafes, played board game cafes. so many games in airports, like so many other yeah. board gamers. We had a really fun experience of playing Zombie Side. This is... A while ago, this was, it was a very this long before time we ago. started doing board game Big content. Time. Yeah, and yeah. we had just gotten Zombie Side, and we were like waiting for a flight. And we had a bit of time, That's right. and so we set up this game on the floor. Yeah, and it was a big scenario, like a nine tile game. game. Yeah, and it was cool because these kids were like, "What's this?" and they kind of sat and watched us play, yeah. and we were able to hang out. And like that was really cool. So that's yeah. one thing that. I think we've always enjoyed is like let's just go play games in the wild. Yeah, we're big on that, and you know, sort of quietly. Um, you know, uh, evangelize for the hobby and stuff and just by playing cool games and mm -hmm. it piques people's interest. So another place for us, like the home base for us is Denny's, man, or diners Denny's in general. Is where it's at. We started off and have played and talked about this a lot is playing board games in diners because yeah. it's a similar vibe, especially if you go to one that's quiet. There's like, you're not really in a rush. You don't play like no a cares. four hour yeah. game. But you know, like we just love, like let's get some pancakes and like let's play this game right here and chill out for a bit and like... That's always been so fun. Yeah. Because again, it's the best. Carbs and cards. Carbs and the cards. Two things that make gaming great. TM, 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 TM. But yeah, Denny's, specifically Denny's too. IHOP's great, but like Denny's is, it's just. A, well, Denny's is America's Diner. It's America's Diner. Uh, yeah, I don't we know. We are looking for a sponsorship, Denny's. <laughs> Denny's, you want to hit us up? Interested. Yeah, it's, it's just, there's something, 17. Some about it. And again, it's mostly because it's like that was just. 24. Uh, 24, 31, oh. 44. Four. No, that's for six and two is eight. Oh, six is that's eight. Yes. Jeez, I just realized I'm like you might have another seven. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, um, yeah, it's there's something about it, and and I I will say to Denny's uh, waiters and waitresses, just being so patient with the fact that we're sitting there. We usually tell them we're usually like 
We're usually like, we're going to be here for, for like four hours. Just let you know right now. They're just kind of like, all right. <laughs> like, yeah. And what we do is we, we order food. We might order like another snack later. And we always tip them really well. Because yes. we're thinking like, okay. Now, again, if this was like a packed diner, we're not going to sit no, around. No, but we're no. usually playing at one of our local dances that's not very busy. No. So I'm like, hey, we're going to, you know, we're gonna be just here. chill. And we'll, we'll pay you for our time, which is cool. Uh, I got 15-2. That five was great. 15-2, 15-4, oh, wow, yeah. and Oof. three is seven. I'll take that. If I can count it 15, faster, 2, 15, 4. That's what it is. Paris 6, Paris 8. Nice. Um, yeah, so I was like, satisfying hand. I was, yeah, I was like, that's a weird hand, but all right. Yeah, I like playing playing like a Denny's, a diner in general. Because it's like, yeah, it's just, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a more vibe. Like, I like that vibe, that chill. Mm -hmm. Have some food, play some games. You're not in a rush. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be out at a certain time. You don't mm -hmm. have to go, like conventions too, it's like, you know, at four we have this panel we're on or we're going to this show yeah. or we have a, a schedule just game. a lot of stuff to do. it's like yeah which is great but it's like a game cafe you know or those places it's like that's the thing to do is exactly what you're doing you're just sitting around two, playing games four. uh and yeah so like diners have always been cool because it's just like a fun time where we can have some food so we don't have to worry about that it's out of the house so it feels a little bit like a you know an adventure of sorts yeah. if, if going to a diner can be an adventure and then there's always a moment while we're playing games that someone, you know, whether someone it's asks, someone yeah. that's waiting on us or in the store, they'll be like, what is this? You yeah. know, and it's like a great moment to say like, oh my gosh, we're playing board games. They've like done all this. So, so we always have those opportunities to sort of plant a seed yeah, for someone who will look a at a board game later. So I have a question like, because we, we talk about that a lot of like play games in public because that's yeah. the best way to evangelize, right? Just yeah, not even, not even try to get people to look, just like just play games, any it's game in public. Just be invisible. So what would you say, what would your, what is your favorite game to play? in public like whether we're in an airport because i really like playing games in an airport for a similar reason for mm. straight up evangelizing purposes not to mention that it, it makes the time go by faster favorite game but what would you say if play. your favorite game to play oh. in public and that could be because it gets more people stopping or just sure for whatever reason or what what's a game that we've always stopped people i, I feel like we, i mean we played a lot of pandemic in places and that's cool because we have we built our little cubes up in the pyramid, so you kind of have the stuff going on, and it's a the thing that's cool about that is like the the board is a map of the world, yeah, in its way, right? It's kind of you got these things covering up parts of it and stuff, but like so I think that's something that pulls me. You see the word pandemic, which isn't as fun this year to play, but in the past, right? <laughs> right. And so you have this, and there's these cubes going on, and people are moving pawns, and we're and we're. We're, we're discussing strategy together animatedly. So a game like that, I think, is huge because yeah. it's, it's cool. And then it also has the added benefit of, uh, just a great pull, uh, of... Yeah, that was a great pull. Of, um, it's yeah. a good game to be able to... 20 for two. It's a good game to be able to... 22. Um, get people... 27. Excited yep. about because we're talking about a cooperative... Yeah. Game, so it's like, oh, it's this cool thing. You're trying to save the world. That's yeah, a big you're dramatic together. moment. You're yeah, working yeah. together. Um, Twenty, and right. uh, go. And then I gotta go. Uh, so like, that's a cool game. I think that pulls people in, and then it's a cool one to help maybe sell the hobby a little bit. What for you? What's a game that you like? What's a game that we've gotten a lot of stops? And like, I don't know honestly is, how much we've played this or when you would like to in public. But for me, I'd probably say photosynthesis because mm -hmm. it is so, so, so different than the, or like Bosk. I think they're both they're both yeah. similar games in terms of their theming. But it's just so they're so pretty. Or... They're 3D and just like any kind of 3D game, whether it's because of miniatures or something like Santorini where you're like building up mm -hmm. because you're going to stop people in their tracks. And I think that is so because if we're playing Trajan some people might be like oh what are you guys playing and we're like oh yeah. we're playing this game and they might still be interested but it's like it's not going to be like what is this you yeah. know and it's like that I think is huge so like any kind of game like we've played like Zombie Side or some kind of like miniatures games in public those have always been great because it stops people they're just visually yeah, they're just like, what is this these are all, what are these miniatures what, are, what is this what is this? We're so curious um, and I love that so I would say probably like photosynthesis or Bosque or something something yeah. that's going to stop people like that yeah. I love that uh, yeah, I mean, I think those are a couple of uh, great games to play. It's anything that can make someone stop and take a look and be like, uh, what's going on here? Yeah, yeah, So yeah, it's totally. my favorite comment, like, what, what, are you, what are you all doing? Yeah. What is this, you know? Yeah. Uh, what you got? Um, is it my crib or your crib? My crib. Your crib. Um, so you're trying to steal it. I have uh, a five-card flush, Oh. a right jack, Oh. which is right jack is one, so that's six, and then I have a three-card run 
is nine. Wow. You should get so many more points for that because yeah. it's just impressive. I was like, but, you know, I'm going to keep the four card flush. I was like, it would be cool yeah. if I get a diamond because then I'll also get the right jack. And then I got that. Yeah, and it was also part point. of this. I was like, I don't think it better, better if it was a 10. I was like, oh, cool. So yeah. that's nine. Yeah. That's fantastic. Uh, I've got 15, 2, 4, 6, 8, pairs 10, pairs 12. Cool. So any last place? Like, like for me, I'll say camping. It's never convenient. No. It usually makes your games dirty. Yes. It usually is painful because you're like, a lot of times we're playing like while like lying on the ground and you're just like... But it's it's just it, the dude. memories, dude. Just being like, yeah, yeah, remember that time we played Paperback up in Desolation Wilderness? Yeah. With yeah, Jay camping Carl. is good. Like, I'm going camping in a couple weeks, and you better believe that, like, I told my fiance, Half like, collections I don't want to be doing much because what I want to be doing is sitting and playing board games. Yeah, straight <laughs> up. So, yes. And that's a nice because, you know, we'll be able to control the environment a little more. But camping is cool because you can't beat the backdrop. No. You're in the fresh air. You're unplugging from technology generally. Yeah. And you're really unplugging because you're going analog with yeah, your gaming. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we've had so many fun experiences playing board games. Even way, but we, we got like back to the days where we got National Parks Monopoly while we were in Yellowstone. Yeah, and played it there. And so this is—I mean—that was when we were kids. You know, it's yeah, just like six here. it's always been a thing, like because it comes back to play. I think that's something that's cool with with camping is. You're just playing because you're you're out in nature and doing your thing and yeah. and uh, yeah, always comes back to play. Yeah. All right, so that's it for us and where we uh, like to play games. We generally like to get out, get to mostly get, get, not give us some food. mostly not at home. <laughs> you, so, yeah, yeah, like I I have no problem playing. And the funny thing is, is like if I get to go to a friend's house and do a that's pool game so day, cool. totally great. Yeah. I'm good because I'm not at my house. have one here. <laughs> nah, nah, you yeah. know. Um, but it's just fun to go to some area and and like yeah. geek out and uh, game house in LA. If if and when uh, we can go to a place like that again, do check it out because it's. And that's not it's sponsored. just we home just base, them, man. Yeah, it's, yeah, just home, home it's straight up home base. It's so yeah. great. Um, but let us know in the comments where you like to play games. Do you have like a, a gaming room? If we had like a gaming basement stuff, this might be a whole different thing. Yeah, or we had I mean, a game room. You, yeah, that wasn't our Where's studio, your yeah. home base for yeah. gaming? If you're going to be doing a full game day. You could choose it. Yeah, you go there whenever you wanted to play. Yeah, yeah it's like what's going to be home base for you? For us, it's going to be like a board game cafe. Yeah. It's the tops. Also, camping stuff is a great way to bring yeah, some yeah. adventure into your gaming. Let us know in the comments below. Indeed. Uh, you crushed me this game in Cribbage, man. Yeah, so I did actually pretty I, good. I had no chance there. Um, but we'll see you all in the next one. Thanks yeah. for chatting with us. Bye. Thank you so much for watching that Cribbage Chats. If you want to see the last Cribbage Chats we did, check out that video up there. And actually, Damn. that one down there, it's also going to be Cribbage Chats, double Cribbage, cribbage chats. chats. Yeah, because yeah. you can just like keep the chill vibe you got keep going the for you. Keep the chill vibe. Keep these nice golden tones going. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Indeed. Don't forget to subscribe. That's right.